Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're going to be dining at the most adventurous Disney restaurant that has a reputation for the best cup of coffee in all of Walt Disney World. They also have a dessert called the Lion King. So, let's go do this. It just stopped raining. We've had thunderstorms all morning and people are starting to come back out to the park. I decided to come back out because my reservation was at 6. It closes at 8 so we might have enough time to ride some rides afterwards. The restaurant that we're going to be dining at is Tiffin's and I've eaten here once before a long time ago but at that time I did not know all the story and history in this restaurant and once I found that out I was obsessed with coming back out so today made a perfect day to do it. The reason we say that it's the most adventurous restaurant is because the restaurant itself is themed off the travels and adventures of the creation of Disney's Animal Kingdom. So by my standard, I feel like that is very adventurous. Our table is ready, so we're going to actually head inside. But before we sit down and order, I want to give you kind of like a tour because this restaurant is a restaurant, but it is an art gallery as well. And it's just full of amazing history of how the park was built itself. As soon as you walk in to the left is the Nomad Lounge, which is a really awesome lounge. And it's connected to Tiffin's restaurant. And they have pictures here of Joe Rohde and all the Imagineers as they actually went to all these amazing places like Asia and over the continent just actually getting research for this park. And you can see them here. Look at them. These are all pictures of them. There is actually three different dining rooms. One of them's about their travels through Asia. One of them's their travels through the safari. And then the other one is the animal collection, all about conservation. And I'm gonna try to show each one of them to you real quick. We are gonna be dining in conservation, but the other ones are beautiful. The dining room that's attached to the Nomad Lounge is the journeys through Asia. And this one is so pretty. Look at these flags. This is really, amazing and you can see the pictures right here reflecting it actually over in asia i think that is so stunning i keep stopping to look at all the cool artifacts that are in here some of them are even in glass casing that's how fancy they are take a look at all of these drawings and journals here i absolutely adore it. and they have these behind the glass casings look at that baobab that's really fancy and speaking of Baobab, the Safari Gallery actually has a Baobab tree inside of it. And I think that's really, really cool. Look at all of this. Isn't it amazing? Something else that's really, really awesome inside the Safari Gallery, they have these photos on the walls. And some of these photos are from Harambe, and some of them are from here in Animal Kingdom. So you can see which ones kind of like how it drew inspiration. And I think it'd be a fun game if you guys can guess which one of these photos is from Animal Kingdom. I think two of them are from Animal Kingdom. Two of them are from Animal Kingdom, two of them are from Harambe. So we'll say this is number one right here, two three and then four let me know in the comments uh, which ones you think are from Animal Kingdom is it one two three or four and now it's time to head to the Grand Gallery and the Conservation Act Gallery and this is where we're gonna be dining and this one's beautiful and probably the biggest one look at the walls in here isn't this so pretty kind of reminds me of Rivers of Light now I want to sit down. I ordered myself a Kungaloosh, which is a beer that is actually brewed just for Walt Disney World. And it's only served here in Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom at Skipper Canteen. And then also I think it's served at Disney Springs one place. But it's all about the Adventurers Club. And this is a fantastic beer. It's like a spiced uh, excursion ale. Kind of reminds me of a Christmas beer. Here is a look at the Excursion Ale. You can see it's definitely a little bit of a darker beer, but boy oh boy, this tastes so delicious and it has a warm feeling going down your throat. I do tend to get this every time I do come to Animal Kingdom and especially any time I go to Skipper's Canteen. Much too good for children. Here is a little look at the menu. You can see they have a Tiffin's signature bread service. Now, 
I'm sure this bread service isn't as good as um, Kadani Village's bread service, but it's pretty decent. And then down here we have the main courses like butter chicken, braised short rib, a surf and turf, and then they do have a whole fried sustainable fish. Right now they were running short on that. I was thinking about trying it, but because they were running short, I didn't want to risk it. So I think instead I'm gonna go with the braised short rib. I would actually order an appetizer like the bread service, but since I already know I'm gonna be getting the Lion King dessert, we're gonna probably skip an appetizer. And plus I'm wearing my Lion King shirt. Can't let that go to waste. Right there it is, the Lion King. It looks like it's a kind of like a trio, a caramel mousse, a chocolate brownie, and then a strawberry mango sauce. Oh, that's gonna be so delicious. And then earlier you heard me talk about the coffee now a lot of people have always told me that the coffee here is phenomenal I've had Kona coffee and I felt like that was one of my favorite press pot coffees but this one is a little bit special and it is made by Joffrey's so we're gonna definitely get one of those there is an Indonesian blend and then there's a natural one it serves two and it's nine dollars a pot and just like that our short rib has arrived look at this fancy thing holy moly that looks delicious i can't wait to cut into it and it's actually presented very nice you know you're in a fancy establishment when they have fancy silverware wrappings this is a tablecloth oh i cannot wait to dive and bite into this oh. no way look at that This is gonna be so delicious. I can tell from the way it fell apart like that. That is definitely one of the most flavorful dishes I've ever had here. I mean, there's so much happening in every single bite. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of this. Yeah, so much. This is up there for me. Up there with some of my favorite meals at Walt Disney World. Really, really good. The potato puree and the date vinaigrette just mixes so well with this. It's like you want to kind of just like swirl it all around on the plate. <laughs> Get every single ounce of flavor and put it right on a spoon or on a fork. Practically perfect, honestly. Probably my best meal at Animal Kingdom, I can say, because the only other restaurants I've eaten at Animal Kingdom was Tusker House and Yak and Yeti. There's not too many sit-down restaurants. Oh, I've been at Rainforest Cafe, but does that count as inside Animal Kingdom? Because technically it's on the outside, but there's not many sit-down restaurants. I should have gotten the bread service because I would have <laughs> swiped all of this right up with some bread and it would have been amazing. Now it's time for some coffee and some dessert. I went with the Indonesian press pot. Now this serves two, like I said, but it's just me. So uh, I'm gonna try to finish the whole pot, but I wouldn't advise it, but I do drink a lot of coffee. Now it's time to try the coffee and Pinky up, darling. Oh, I spilled a little bit. That's good. Oh, that's good. And to go with my amazing coffee, the Lion King has arrived. Take a look at that. That might be the most beautiful dessert I've ever gotten. Remember who you are. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. I had to take like a million photos of it, of course, because it really is just like a masterpiece. I honestly do not want to even cut into this dessert. I wish I could just take it home and like put it on a shelf so that it stays that way forever. But that, that's not real life. So I'm gonna eat it. I am so sorry, Simba. <laughs> Get a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of Simba. Honestly, it's worth coming here just for this. Look at that. So, so delicious. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to come back and try it again. 
I'm already planning my next trip back here to have this dessert. <laughs> and it goes so good with the coffee. I love it. And did you know this comes off? This is like either like a cinnamon sugar, I believe. I don't want to ruin Simba, but I want to get the flavor. I want to get the flavor of Simba. <laughs> and I've been saving this for the last bite because it was like so perfect. Mm. <laughs> And they give you a little bit of a to-go cup so you can take your coffee home with you. Do you hear that? The best part of waking up is press pack coffee at Animal Kingdom. And just like that, we are all done. And we're walking out with a coffee too. That Lion King dessert was the best. I absolutely loved it. I loved the way it looked. I loved the way it tasted. I loved my whole experience in there. Definitely the best restaurant in Animal Kingdom and might be in the top five for me of all Disney World Resort restaurants. It was that good. It's only 25 minutes until the park closes, so we might be able to catch one ride and then come back out and see if the Tree of Life comes to life. I'm so excited because I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen like the Tree of Life like show in a while. And I can see the lights are turning on up there a little bit. So fingers crossed, I hope it does it tonight. And I suppose I have to ask the question, if you have 15 minutes left in Animal Kingdom and only room for one more ride, what ride do you ride? Just take a look at the sunset happening tonight at Animal Kingdom. That is glorious. It's like I'm trying to rush to get over to Expedition Everest, but I keep getting stopped because this is just too beautiful. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep cause I miss you babe and I don't want to miss a thing I got hypnotized by the sunset and we got five minutes to get the Expedition Everest the boss needs his coffee go go there it is it's beautiful four minutes to get there I love walking through here at night look at this oh it's gorgeous I spilt my coffee all over me. It's okay, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it. They're not gonna let me take it in the queue with me, but it was hot. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. We made it, and it says 15 minutes, but something tells me it's a walk on. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, look at this. What a way to cap off the night. This has been such a fun day at Animal Kingdom. I love walking through the museum here. It's like the Yeti Museum. And it definitely sets you up for the anticipation to come face to face with the Yeti, the Disco Yeti. If you take a look at the picture back there, that's uh, basically everyone's photos trying to get a picture of them. Since it's the end of the night and there's not really anybody else coming through the line, I'm gonna wait it out for row number one. Yeah, that's the way to go. Ooh, is this the last train of the night? Oh, this is the last one of the night. Fancy. Last train of the night. And it's dark out and we're on the front row. Could you ask for a better close? Whoa! Ho -ho. Earth all lit up in the Grand Destino Tower. 
This is so beautiful. Wow. Uh oh. You can see that train cart in front of us is going to take off as a ghost one. That's the final run through of the night, maybe. That was so much fun. Sometimes I like to yell a little bit and I get a little bit too much into the ride. What do you guys prefer? Like a quiet ride through? Or uh, should I just like let it all out? Scream like a girl. <laughs> and just take a look at Expedition Everest right now. Animal Kingdom at night is such a beautiful thing. I remember when they first started opening up at night, they really launched it like it was a major event and people were like, oh, like how great can it be? And let me tell you something, it is breathtaking. And of course, Pandora at night is amazing as well. But wow, when I first started coming here for Animal Kingdom at night, I don't think Pandora was here yet. And it was like the best thing ever. Well, that's a little sad though. It looks like they're not doing the Tree of Life uh, come alive like show. I think they only do that at nights. It might be open later. Uh, and it only just got dark now and it's past eight o'clock, past the park close. So that makes sense, but I do love it. Maybe one day I'll be able to catch it. And just because there's no show, we do still need to stop and give it a proper send off because it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. Right now with that dark silhouette, I love it. And I guess with that, we're gonna call it a night here. I had so much fun. Let me tell you, I wasn't planning on coming out today because it was raining so bad, but I am so glad that I just got out here and I had such an amazing day. I get seasonal depression. That's one of the reasons why I moved from Pennsylvania to Florida. And when it's raining and gloomy out, I just kind of feel like, ah. Oh. And today it was raining and gloomy and you know, I was like, oh, I don't wanna do anything. And then all of a sudden it stopped and I was like, Let's go, and I had such a fantastic time. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. My glasses are starting to fog up. We'll see you next time. Bye.